If upgrading your computer or replacing your old graphics card, you'll need to remove it from your motherboard. This can be a tricky process, but with a bit of patience and the right tools, you'll be able to do it in no time. There are three types of graphics cards, integrated, shared, and discrete. Integrated graphics cards are built into the motherboard and share the memory with the CPU. As a result, they are typically less expensive and perform less than other graphics cards. Shared graphics cards are also built into the motherboard, but they have their dedicated memory. Discrete graphics cards have dedicated memory and processing unit, which gives them a better performance than other graphics cards. First, ensure that your PC is not powered on and power is disconnected from the wall. Disconnect the monitor from the graphics card. Remove the computer's side panel to get access to the internal components of the PC. Identify the video card. Discrete add-on video cards are generally large and most of the time have one or more fans attached to it. Unplug any power cables connected to the video card. If you have a dual graphics card setup, remember to remove the SLI bridge. Unscrew the video card from the case, this can be anywhere from 1 to 3 screws depending on how big your video card is. While holding the video card by gripping the middle. Carefully press down on the security lock latch on the PCI slot to release the video card from the lock. It's important not to apply too much force as this may break the latch. Some latches flip out while others need to be pushed down and differ by manufacturer and model. It should unlock easily and the right side of the video card should pop out slightly once released. While still holding the video card, carefully pull it away from the motherboard and keep in mind that the card may be heavier than expected. Carefully place the video card in an anti-static bag or on top of a cardboard box away from anything electrical.